Hey all you crazy cats who subscribe to Galaxy Speed Shop USA. This is Two Hat Matt. Just wanted to shoot a quick video and give you a glimpse of what we're working on here for the E-powered, the electric powered big swamp buggy. Now, like I was saying before, they do have you constructing this. They give you all the, the pieces and instructions to construct this mount for this gas motor, but you can see it's mounted horizontally. So we had to do a complete redesign on this because you can see the brushless motor mounts on a vertical mount. So uh, we went ahead and got some more of the plywood that the boat is made from. You can get this online. We got uh, six sheets of this one eighth inch birch plywood. Uh, 12 by 12 inch seats for about 20 bucks online and it works out good you can see I have a rudder marked out I'm going to cut later but uh, this worked good for constructing the new motor mount I did go ahead and use the one half by one half mahogany they did supply good support uh, but I did have to design and construct the vertical parts and the motor mount itself I think it's going to work out real good if you saw the test of the motor the other night uh, seemed we we're gonna that's gonna work out real good so I went ahead and used the rudders that they supplied um, it's not gonna be the permanent rudder but just as a mock-up you can see and instead of making this uh, kind of complex brass tube and rod pivot right here uh, basically once you construct this it's non-serviceable if something happens to it uh, you'd have to break it apart and do a complete reconstruction on the pivot and the rudder. So uh, what we've done instead is gone ahead and found these little acrylic hinges online right here. Um, these I think are going to work out real good and uh, gives it a good pivot, smooth, uh, low friction, lightweight, not going to rust. And we went ahead, instead of using the push rod to steer the rudders we're going to go ahead and mount a servo right here on the side of the mount uh, these little buggers are waterproof uh, so might as well have it right out in the open and keep it keep it really simple we like keeping it simple we're just going to use a brass link rod over to a uh, support on the rudder and you can see we just have that taped on right now but uh I think it's going to work real good. We've already gone ahead and tested this, but we'll show you here. We're using our little servo tester again. Comes in real handy. And you can see this is going to control the steering very nicely and very simply. Instead of bearing the servo in the hull and running a push rod, we're just going to use this setup right here. So, once again, this is just temporary, kind of all taped on, but just to give you cool cats an idea of what's coming up. So, stay tuned. Peace out. This is Two Hat Matt.